What is going on guys? It is Dan here and uh, we are back with From the Depths. So my recording software, again, I need to fix the, uh, the actual short keys to this because, well, it cut out immediately after doing my intro and we missed a, a pretty a pretty average battle where I was just talking about how, you know, the enemy variation is probably going to get a little boring to be watching me constantly pummel to death. On my way, on my so way. we are probably going to just speed run directly to the enemy fortress, which is probably going to be somewhere back in here. That would be my guess, considering up here is the Steel Empire. So on my way, on my way, on my way. Yeah. On my way. So that's the Steel Empire up there. On my so way. that would be, and white flaves are over here so they're gonna be back in here somewhere so we might as well just run right towards them because that is fun oh oh what is this this is like a legitimate fighting force this time around this isn't just your pathetic attempt to just slow me down this is like retaliation all right so again this is probably not going to be a very fair fight <laughs> I think I think all of you have realized yeah. that at this point that fair fights don't yeah. appear uh, on yeah. my videos because well those aren't fun. It's more fun when you just watch something steamroll steamroll the other uh, the yeah. other opponent and there's just no survivors. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, that would that would make yeah. sense. That would make sense. I need to build more vehicles though. Yeah. I just want to have like all the vehicles. Every single one. All right. So, how's this going to go? My money is on our team. Just saying. I mean, that that's probably the. Wait, there's a mountain over there. Interesting. All right. So, we've got two scrap works. Scrap works. Scrap workies. Uh, a bunch of bikes. I'm not even gonna bother counting them. Uh, some sand vipers, sidewinders, another sand viper, a, a sidewinder that's stuck in the ground, which is probably going to die very shortly. Do we have anything under the land? No. Okay. Something is already detonating. That would be a scrap works. That scrap works is already. Is it stuck in the ground or is it just dead? Nope. It is just kind of dying so how does it look right now well four things are already either too damaged or ai dead make that five the bikes still haven't reached us i mean the bikes are cool and all but they just they just don't do enough damage for the amount of resource that is spent on making them I mean, just, just look at that. They've probably done more damage to their own side than they have ever to us. Now, if they were fitted with nukes, that would be... They'd probably still detonate on their own vehicles, but when they would get near you, you'd actually be kind of terrified. Which makes me actually consider building... Ooh. I know what we're going to do to our copperheads that we've completely captured. I'm going to put nukes on them and send them against the enemy. That can either go really well or really bad. I'm going to see how that goes, but I have a feeling it's going to be hilarious to watch. So yeah, now I'm kind of wanting this fight to be over so I can go put nukes on some of these bikes and we'll just assault the enemy. Uh, command post the land marauder with just nuke bikes yes nuke bikes that is going to be the actual designation i love it already yeah. oh hmm good job Well, it doesn't really matter. We've kind of wrecked everything, so it's all right. 
Yeah, this is this is just mean what we're doing now. So I feel like we should just put the the Dustwind Gypsies out of their misery as soon as possible. So that is the ultimate goal for this episode. If not, we're going to start the next episode off with it. So just know that we are nearing the end of our first major war in the many oncoming wars in this campaign. So we're just finishing off what's left of the uh, attacking force, which isn't a lot. We've got what's left of the scrap works, which is basically just a crippled depressing hull that it has given up a long time ago but is continuing the fight just because it, it doesn't really have a choice at this point, is being mindlessly uh, driven and is actually too damaged at this point. The Omen is just over here tanking everything and just doing what it's designed to do and not dying, much like you saw in the last episode. And I have a feeling my voice just sounded really weird there for a second, so I'm sorry if it sounded weird but it just tends to do that. I have an issue with just talking and my voice just sounds weird sometimes. Probably because I use way too many accents for my own good. And this bike is still just still going. They've, I've never seen one of these things last this long. It either detonates or runs out of fuel and dies. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of applauding this one. We're gonna capture this one, hopefully. Get close enough so we can capture it. Come on, you're going to be the first nuke bike if we capture you. Nope, we're not capturing you. This, this is what happens when you don't take orders from your new leaders. You don't become a nuke bike. So you can go suicide into something else with much greater purpose. So that is the end of this fight. We actually captured two more copperheads. So we are going to be able to build some pretty nasty bikes here in a, yes, as soon as we get way. the opportunity. On my way. Yes, on my way. So we're going to go ahead and repair everything there for a second. And I am going to go yes, ahead and repair this copperhead real quick. We're going to spawn in on it. We're going to pull it out from combat. Cutting and we're going off. to just hop on it. And we're going to do some building. So cap locks. How much exactly is a nuke? That is the question. Because it might be kind of important. Oh, it was only 100 material. So we could put like 20 of these on here, if we really wanted to. And you know what that means. Of course we want to. I mean, why wouldn't you want to put like six nukes onto this contraption? Why? Can I only put one? No, I can I can put more than one. That's just interesting. So that's the aerial AI. So this thing uses air stuff. That's interesting. We don't need a hard stone. Hmm. So this is what a nuke bike is going to look like. I already love it. It's it's just a bunch of nukes strapped on to the front. Um, is there any like contraption to this that I don't entirely understand that makes it so that way it just blows up? Or does it just have to do with the fact that once we run into something it just blows up? Well, we're gonna find out because we're gonna save this design. So, save vehicle. We're gonna go to tanks because this is gonna officially qualify as a tank and we're gonna remove Copperhead because that's a stupid name. And my cap locks is on, of course. We're gonna call this a nuke bike. This copperhead is for losers. Nuke bike is where this is all at. Developers, please don't do this for the actual campaign. I'm gonna be kind of disappointed if I start seeing these things pop up everywhere. So, I'm also gonna save the game real quick. And we're going to pop out of build mode. We're gonna pull all. Oh, that's not three meters yes. a second. We don't want it being that slow. Alright, that, that's good enough for our use. We're going to merge it On with our way. fleet. No, On don't, don't get that close. On my way. So, we're yes. going to scrap you. We kind of don't need you now. We're going yes. to replicate a nuke bike. 
we're gonna yes. have a couple of these. I have a feeling this is way. the best way to, to go about yes. doing this. Um, just because yes. nuke bikes, I feel like they're the next generation in combat. So having these on way. at on the way. front lines yes. of our military is probably the best way to go. So now we are going to continue our assault and we're gonna see how this goes. So, bottom or left? We're gonna go bottom. Because we've got way. more of that revealed right now. So we've got three nuke bikes to use in combat. I have a feeling they're gonna be totally worthless, but hey, that's they're gonna be fun to use. Um, they don't actually cost that much either. I mean, 2,000 is kind of a bit, but considering we're gonna be sending literal nukes at the enemy in bikes basically just using their the corpses of their own vehicles to destroy them i feel like that is a very humble thing to do yeah so we're gonna put you guys right up in the front you're gonna be right as close as we can get you and you are going yeah. to do us a massive service and destroy the enemy right at the beginning of the fight now, I'm going to be very happy if these things actually are very useful and yes. I start a new a new from the depths trend, which causes everyone to use nuke bikes to destroy everything. All right. You know what? We're going to spawn in on a nuke bike. I feel like we're going to go down with a nuke bike. Let's do this. All right. Nuke bike away. Don't run into each other. This is only going to go bad if you run into each other. All right, so the enemy is not paying attention to the nuke bikes. This is an important thing. Because if they pay attention to the nuke bikes, bad things are going to happen. I'm also hoping I didn't actually break these because that would be kind of sad if they didn't do their... Where are you going? Don't you dare go near our own fleet. Are you guys out of fuel? No. Did you just overheat or something? Nope, we're just closing in. Oh, are those two? Those are our nuke bikes. Nuke bikes are inbound. They haven't detonated yet. Oh, N nuke bike. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Wow. Did I just spawn a new internet trend with nuke bikes? I might have. I might have created something glorious. This is the beginning, everyone. This is the future. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay. I don't care what you people say. That is just amazing. We did that. We made nuke bikes. And I feel like that is the way to go. Because what better way do we have to destroy basically 90% of the enemy vehicles than with nuke bikes. And I keep saying that, but they're so fun to say. Like, I don't think you people understand exactly how happy I am with this success of using that vehicle against them. And we leveled up, but we're using their bikes, their copperheads, and attaching nukes to them and sending them in against the enemy. I want to see if we actually made a we actually made a profit. We made a profit with the nuke bikes. Everyone, this is the future. And I feel like we can actually use these in modern warfare as well. We just strap a bunch of, you know, intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles to a bunch of uh, Harley Davidson bikes, and we just fire them at ISIS. I think that is the uh, the best way to go. You, you guys have heard it here first, folks. This did we we captured a sand viper. This is this is the ultimate combat. We're gonna put nukes on it. 
We're gonna put all the nukes on it. Oh my god, it has a rolling over feature? That is really cool. This sand viper, we're gonna sand vi sand viper. Sand viper. We're gonna we're gonna Can can we pull the sand viper? Can we can we pull the sand viper? Yes. Can we actually pull the sand Yeah, we're pulling the sand viper. Get out of here. Battle finished. That was an experience. So our nuke bikes did their job. Where did our nuke bikes go? Did did we lose our nuke bikes? So I gotta work this out for a second. If the bikes detonate with nukes, does that mean that we don't get them back? So we're gonna have to make nuke bikes every single time we go into combat. That is the real question. So I'm going to pull our Sand Viper from the fight just because I don't feel like it's that important that he's in our fight. We've got more Sand Vipers, Sidewinder, Desert Boa, and a Sand Viper. Now, as much as I'd like to bring uh, an end to the Dustwind Gypsies this episode, I feel like it's actually going to be very difficult to uh, do that in a timely manner considering we're already at about 17 minutes. I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, start the next episode off with attacking the Dustwind Gypsies yeah. Fortress. And then figuring out what we're going to do from there. I think yeah. that is probably the best way to go, just to keep these episodes shorter and easier to edit down in the future, so that way we can just continuously pump out content for you guys. Well, I say we, but it's just me. I'm all I need. Alright, so the nuke bikes were a success. That's all that matters. We're gonna spawn in some more, and we're gonna take on the Dustwind Gypsies as soon as we get the chance. Honestly, I, I wanna watch my reaction to that as soon as I'm done editing this video because I, I probably sounded like a little schoolboy who woke up on Christmas morning and realized that they got a brand new uh, gaming console or something. Whatever, whatever kids nowadays want. I'm, I'm detached from all of you people. I literally live in my office the entire time, and I just make videos, and I play video games. That's all. That's all I do. I, I, I haven't touched a console since back in Vietnam, which, mind you, was a very long time ago, and consoles definitely did exist back then. Alright, so this is, this is, uh, I think this is it guys, so, uh, next time we are going to take on the Land Marauder with our nuke bikes, and we are going to destroy the Dustwind Gypsies once and for all. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, if you guys like this content, please let me know. I'd love to continue doing this as a full-time series. And uh, I also wanted to let you guys know that uh, you guys have been doing a very good job of making me just feel all awesome inside. The support I've gotten from doing this series is just amazing. Uh, I don't think I've ever experienced such a, a massive channel growth in just a short period of time. Like, I just started doing these videos last week and my channel has already skyrocketed in a number of statistics and I just feel like uh, it, it's all thanks to you guys. So. Um, this, this short one or two minute period at the end of this video is completely dedicated to you guys, but in all reality, you guys just need like a full video, just completely dedicated to you, which hint is going to be coming at about 300 subscribers. So, uh, I plan on doing something then just to kind of thank all of you people for, uh, sticking around and basically, uh, helping with making this, uh, an actual hobby that actually is technically 
becoming profitable at this point, but we'll talk more about that in the future. Oh, we captured a war rig trailer, but we can't really put nukes on that, so we're going to scrap it. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.